this video, I'm gonna be sharing a walkthrough of Canva's five new AI powered tools that you can start using straight away in your business. If you're creating content for your clients or for your own business, these AI tools are freaking incredible. So as a content marketer myself, I've noticed that AI is literally everywhere from ChatGPT to all these other incredible platforms that are helping us to craft content and get ideas in a way that's faster and easier than ever. So Canva's jumping on the AI bandwagon because they know that there's so much demand for AI powered tools and help their community to create better designs that allow them to connect with their audience um, no matter what their industry is. I'm also going to share three additional tools that have just been added that I really love and these are going to help with your designs as well. So if you're new here, I'm Kay Emily and I'm a marketing consultant, mentor and educator and I love using Canva. I use it not only for my clients work but also for my own business as well. I am not a designer. I have not been trained in Photoshop or any of the other design tools. So Canva's been my go-to pretty much since the day it launched in 2013. I have been one of their number one fans. And I know a lot of you guys are using Canva too. So I wanted to make this tutorial really quick and easy to understand. I know that the announcement that came out last week it was very, very long. So this is gonna be a nice quick one for you to digest how you can start using these AI tools straight away. Okay, so the first one is Magic Right. Now this has been around for a little while, but now it's available everywhere throughout the platform before you had to only use it in the docs section, but now you can use it in your uh, social media posts, uh, which I think is a really clever tool. So um, let's just create an example. So you click here on this little, little magical button and click Magic Right. If that doesn't come up for you straight away, then just search for it and it should pop up. So Magic Right, let's search, what was my example I wanted to share? Five Instagram Reel Tips, all right. So Magic Right, five Instagram Reel Tips. So it'll take a minute to populate and then it gives you all these ideas. So this is like any other content AI. It gives you a nice snapshot of what's sort of on the web. Um, and however, when you're creating a social media post, it's quite likely you're gonna want this a little bit more summarized. There's a lot of words in here. So we just click this again and go summarize text. Now we're looking at something pretty great. So here are the ideas. Um, and then you could break these up over multiple posts, graphics, uh, but you know, half of, your, half of your work is already done. You may wanna reword these, but depending on what your particular advice is, how you could make it more targeted to your niche, but you've got your idea straight off the bat, pretty easy, right? So the second AI tool is Magic Design. Now you're supposed to be able to click here and it should be showing up or you should be able to search for it. So when I search Magic Design, but it doesn't seem to come up for me. So I'm not sure why that is, um, but as you can see, this is a new thing on Canva as well. It's called the Canva Assistant, which I think is really clever because often I get stuck in Canva and like, oh, how the hell do I do this thing that I'm trying to create? and it tells you how to do it. It sends you all the prompts, voila, it's amazing. Okay, so we can't find it in here, so what I'm gonna do is just go back to the home page. All right, so you have to go back to their home page and look through these little GIFs that have been created. I've found Magic Design, click on this one here, and then click Try Out. So what you need to do first is to find an image that you wanna use. So insert a piece of media, this might be an image of your product, it might be an image of you. Um, I'm just gonna select a image from a brand photo shoot I did, just so we have something to work with. And then it's gonna populate some ideas for designs that I can be using. So, I mean, the examples that they've provided aren't amazing. They're definitely not on brand for me. Um, but what we can do is just click on style and choose something that's a bit more aligned to me. So it might be something like, oh, we've got minimalist. I generally like that minimalist sort of look. Maybe we can pick a style as well. Um, let's see, something that's closest to my branding. Uh, or maybe something like this. I like this sort of nude look. 
Cool, now we're getting somewhere. This is starting to look really cool. I don't love this font here, but obviously you can change that for specific elements, but you can see how it's designed all these different assets, marketing assets that you can start populating into your content. Now, I wanna specifically target uh, social media posts, um, in particular Instagram. Alrighty, so these are some of the examples that come up. I mean, I have, created a graphic that's actually quite similar to that um, before on my own, having to find all these different elements. So that's pretty cool that that was something that came up. Uh, and yeah, you can see all these different examples here. But have a play with it, see what works for you, see what works for your audience. Okay, so next one is Magic Edit. This is really cool. Um, it's a really clever one. It's not 100% it doesn't work 100% of the time, but it's a really fun one to play with. So if we click on a photo, so, you, so you've added a photo to an Instagram post, we click on it and then we go edit photo. So you go um, edit magic edit. Now what I wanna change, so think about what is something that you wanna change. So I'm thinking, because my brand colors are like these light pinks and stuff, I'm thinking maybe from this brand shoot, maybe I'll change this cushion. Maybe I'll make this cushion a pink cushion. So let's see what comes up. So maybe I'll say a light pink cushion. All right, let's see what happens. As you can see, the the cushion, it's not perfect. It's not, it's not 100%. So let's try something else. Maybe I'll change this cup. A, um, small vase of flowers. Let's see what comes up. So these are the options that Canva has presented. I quite like this one. I think this one looks quite cute. So we'll add that one in. I actually quite like that. I reckon that doesn't look too bad. Um, I wouldn't use this all the time. It's more of a fun one to play with. The technology is still really new, so it's something that's gonna be evolving and getting better. And if there's particular elements in an image that you have, this may really be a really great way of mixing it up and changing the way it used to look, um, or it might be a good way to introduce elements that are relevant to your brand. Okay, so the next one is Magic Eraser. Now this is great. So if you've used Photoshop, you will know you can erase particular elements in an image to make you know, your focal point more obvious. Maybe it's people in the background or a bird in the sky. So this was a photo from a photo shoot I did at a cafe. Now these menu boards are really painful when they're in my images because a lot of the attention gets drawn to them. As you can see, it's like, quite annoying like obviously they're on brand with this particular cafe but I don't need to have fried cauliflower hummus pomegranate molasses in the background of my images right so you click edit photo oops click edit photo and then go magic eraser now what you can do is make the brush size bigger because I've got a big thing I want to erase I would make the brush size quite big uh, all right not real good at this drawing stuff, so bear with me. But you wanna make sure it's entirely covered. I did it before and it wasn't completely covered and you can still save it. So here we go. Um, it's just basically gonna make that menu board disappear. All right, so it's done a pretty good job, but we've still got a bit here and a little bit here. And I am so damn happy about that. Like. Even though it's made the panels look a bit more obvious than what it does in the rest of the image, I don't care. I think that looks fantastic. And if I click into, so if I get back into the graphic itself, so this is the size of the image, like you can't even tell, right? I think that is a fabulous, fabulous AI edition. And finally, magic presentation. So if you're teaching, um, you're wanting to share webinars, you're wanting to share masterclasses or mini trainings with your audience. This is a really cool one to get started. So um, go back to, so then go and find try out magic presentation under one of those boxes and then click try out. I'm sure these buttons are gonna be way more accessible on the home screen once they've you know, really been launched, but they're trying to create a bit of mystery behind the scenes. Okay, so now we gotta explain what is the topic? What is something that we are wanting to create a presentation on? And I had the idea of doing a social media strategy webinar. So, social media strategy. 
and then it's just gonna create my prezzo for me. <laughs> so it's got a couple of suggestions based on my style. So these are ones that I have, I guess, based on the other content I've created. Actually, I really like that. I think that looks really good. So I'll just go create presentation and then I can just upload the graphics I want. These aren't the sort of graphics I would use personally, but um, yeah, it's a really nice clean template. Um, you know, got these sort of like elements that make it a little bit more um, different that I wouldn't have thought to add in a box like that in the background or make my image this sort of shape um, or add a little graphic. So it's a really good one to get started. So they're the five AI tools that Canva have released with this brand new update, which I think are magic. Now I'm going to share just three quick design updates that they made that I really, really love that I think are really accessible as well, especially if you're not a designer. So the first one is draw. So say we've got an image of me and you just click this draw button here and depending on what pen you want, etc. I guess this is kind of like if you were drawing on your phone in your snapshots or something like that. But say we go a pen and I might make it um, one of my brand colors and I could do like little like dashes like that or a little heart. Oh, this is really tricky. If you are a millennial, then you will know what it's like to draw in paint. And this has that kind of vibe. Um, but in saying that, the cool thing about these, this elements is we can go back to elements and then we can actually move these around. We can make them bigger. We could make them um, move them over here. We could copy and paste them so they're the same on each side um, to create that consistency. Uh, so that's a really fun one to add a little bit of creativity if you're posting photos on your social media. Next one is a gradient. So I've fallen in love with gradients lately. I don't know if you've noticed on social media there's a lot of gradients, but if you click on the background, so this is say an Instagram post that you've created, click on the background and you normally just click from your brand colors. Well, instead of doing that, you click on this one and go gradient. So it's gonna choose two colors for you. So this is a color I originally had and this is a different color that it thinks is complementary. So let's change that one up. So you can either use the eyedropper if you've got one of your brand colors easily accessible, which I do here, or you could type in the hex code there. Uh, now you can change the style of gradient. So the thing I like about these gradients is it's really subtle. So I really like this one. It's a great way to use that gradient trend without being too over the top. And thirdly, an animation. So uh, what you can do, so you've probably seen the animations that are existing in there already, like these sorts of ones which move your graphics or your text. So say I've had text over it, it would all be moving at different times. But here's a new one, create an animation. So this is a unique animation to a particular element. So what I'll do is I'll find an element, say I want a little email graphic. So I teach a lot about email marketing. So say I wanna talk about email marketing in this post. Um, and I just want this little graphic to go and do something cool. All right, so say, say I'm gonna put him here and I will go to animate and then create an animation. Now what I need to do is move this graphic how I'd like it to move. So it might be like this. and you can change the speed, so if it's really fast or really slow or smooth it out, so it makes it a lot more smooth. Um, orient to a path, so the image itself moves. Oh, I like that, that's quite cool. Yeah, you could use this in your reels, you could use this as just a animation, you could make it a, into a GIF. So what did you think about these AI powered tools and a couple of different design updates that Canva have released? Pretty fun and I think they're just gonna continuously improve and help make our content creation even easier. But if you want to dive even deeper into the AI space, then go and watch my video all about content creation AI tools. I share five of my favorite tools um, and some of them are even free. So go check out that one now. It's going to make content creation even easier and quicker than ever, whether you're creating for your clients or your own business. So that's it for me for today. I hope you love this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I release new videos every single week, so stay tuned for something new on digital marketing that I know you're going to love. So until next time, 
Bye for now.